Hi there! Welcome to Storytime with Miss Becky. As usual, our friend Bear has a question for you. Have you heard the Easter story that is in the Bible? Well, the Bernstein Bears are about to see a play about the Bible story of Easter. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see that Easter play. The Berenstain Bears and the Easter Story, written by Jan and Mike Berenstain. It was springtime in bear country, and brother, sister, and honey bear were thinking about Easter. Actually, they were thinking about Easter candy. They loved Easter candy. There were so many different kinds. They were even thinking about it on their way to Sunday school one fine spring morning. My favorite Easter candy is chocolate bunnies, said brother. My favorite is marshmallow chicks, said sister. Jelly beans, cried Honey Bear. Their Sunday school teacher, Mrs. Ursula, overheard them. I like the black jelly beans best, she smiled. But you know, there's much more to Easter than chocolate bunnies, marshmallow chicks, and jelly beans black or otherwise. Sure, we know that, said brother. Sure, said sister. Sure, said honey. Oh, said Mrs. Ursula. Then why don't you tell the class all about Easter? Well, said brother, scratching his head. It's about stuff in the Bible. Yeah, agreed sister, Bible stuff. Stuff nodded honey. Hmm, said Mrs. Ursula. Maybe it's time we learned a little more about this Bible stuff. It happens that the cubs in the next class are about to put on a play called The Easter Story. Can we watch, Mrs. Ursula? The cubs asked. Just what I was about to suggest, she said. In the next classroom, everything was ready. Scenery was set up and the performers were in costume. One of them began to read the story out loud. Long ago in the Holy Land, there was a man named Jesus. He traveled the countryside teaching about God and what God wanted for his people. Many listened to Jesus and followed him. Jesus was able to perform miracles. One time he turned water into wine. Another time he made a lame man walk. Jesus could do these wonderful things because he was the Son of God. He was called the Christ, which is a name for a king. But Jesus' kingdom is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus sometimes made people angry. Many people found his teachings strange, and some doubted that he was the Son of God. Others worried about why he was called King. They were afraid that Jesus would become too powerful. Jesus was from a small country town but he traveled all the way to the holy city of Jerusalem. One day, as he rode into the holy city on a donkey, crowds of people greeted him. They shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. The leaders of the city grew worried. Was Jesus becoming too powerful? One night, Jesus went to a garden to pray. While he prayed, soldiers were sent to arrest him. They took him away to prison. Jesus was brought before a wicked judge. The judge asked Jesus many questions. He wanted to show everyone that Jesus was not a king. So he ordered Jesus to be put to death by hanging on a wooden cross. The day Jesus died was a terrible day. The skies grew dark and a great wind arose. 
all the people were afraid. After Jesus died, his friends took him away. They put him in a tomb that was closed with a great stone. Jesus was in the tomb for two days. On the morning of the third day after Jesus died, some women who knew Jesus came to weep at his tomb. They saw that the stone was rolled away and Jesus was gone. But an angel told the women not to be afraid. He told them that Jesus was alive once more. Jesus came to visit his friends after he rose. They were amazed and fell down and worshiped him. Jesus told them they should spread the good news about what had happened. Finally, Jesus rose up to heaven to be with God, his Father. The play was over. Everyone was very quiet. Easter is about a lot more than candy, isn't it? asked Sister. Yes, indeed, said Mrs. Ursula. Are there any questions? Yes, said Brother. Does this mean we shouldn't eat any Easter candy? Certainly not, laughed Mrs. Ursula. I wouldn't want to miss my black jelly beans either. It just means that on Easter morning, after you get your Easter baskets, you'll all go to church to learn more about Easter. Hooray, the cubs said. And Hosanna, added Mrs. Ursula. He is risen. Amen to that, said brother and sister. Well, wasn't it amazing that after Jesus died, he came back to life again and visited his friends? That is why we are celebrating Easter. Do you look forward to holidays because of what you get? Like presents or candy? Yes? Well, today the Berenstein Bears are excited about their next holiday, Easter. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what they find when they go on a giant bear town Easter egg hunt. The Berenstein Bears and the real Easter eggs. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. How about that, said Sister Bear. I got twenty-three valentines at school today. Seven signed with names. Eight, guess who's? And eight, swax, S-W-A-K-S. -S. That means sealed with a kiss. Brother smiled. He knew that there were 24 cubs in sister's class, and teacher Jane made every cub give every other cub a valentine. But sister was enjoying her valentines so much that he didn't say anything. Besides, he'd gotten quite a few himself. I just love holidays, said sister. I wish every day was a holiday. Then you could get stuff every day. Oh, said Mama, who'd been listening. Is that all holidays mean to you? Getting stuff? Sure, said Sister. You get turkey, stuffing, and pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving, presents on Christmas, and Valentine's on Valentine's Day. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, said Mama, is that holidays are about much more. Thanksgiving is about being thankful. Christmas is about goodwill and peace on earth. And Valentine's Day is about love and friendship. What do you think about that, my dear? asked Papa. Er, where did Sister go? he said, looking around. She went into the kitchen, said Brother, which Sister had. She'd gone into the kitchen to look at the calendar on the wall. 
She was looking ahead for holidays. She looked at the rest of February. There weren't any more big holidays in February. She looked at March. She didn't see any big holidays in March either. But then she looked at April. And right there in April was a really big holiday. Easter! Yum! She thought. Coconut eggs, jelly beans, chocolate bunnies. Yum! And double yum! That night, Sister fell asleep while visions of jelly beans and chocolate bunnies danced in her head. But it was still winter, and when she woke up the next morning, she forgot about Easter and spring because there was a new blanket of snow covering the earth. Wonderful snow to sled on, to make forts out of, to make angel wings in. But Mother Nature hadn't forgotten. And while brother, sister, and their friends sledded and made forts and angel wings, she was getting ready for a whole new season. As the winter winds died down and the sun began to ride higher in the sky, signs of spring began to appear. The big icicles of winter dropped from roofs and stuck like swords in the last of the melting snow. Robins began looking for places to build their nests. Blue and yellow crocuses peeped through the softening earth. And it wasn't very long before reminders of Easter began to appear in supermarkets and on television. But it was the big billboard in the town square that got sister and brother really excited about Easter. This is what it said. Coming soon, the giant bear town Easter egg hunt. Don't miss it. All cubs welcome. Prizes, prizes, prizes. Delicious chocolate Easter eggs. Jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans. Gigantic chocolate bunnies. Every cub will win a prize. All prizes on display in window of the Beartown General Store. Look, said brother. It says the prizes are on display in the window of the Beartown General Store. And were they ever? There were more jelly beans than you could ever count. Sugar trimmed, dark chocolate coconut filled eggs with sugar roses and violets on them. Life-sized milk chocolate bunnies and one chocolate bunny as big as Brother Bear himself. Happy Easter indeed. This was going to be the biggest, best, and most delicious Easter ever. Brother and sister were so excited they ran all the way home. Mama was in the treehouse front yard. Sister, said brother, you tell Mama about the big Easter egg hunt while I go find Papa and tell him. Mama, Mama, sputtered sister. She was so excited and out of breath she could hardly talk. Now, my dear, said Mama, I know that what you want to tell me is very exciting, but I'm sure it can wait until you catch your breath. Meanwhile, I've got some exciting things to show you. But Mama, protested sister. Just look here, said Mama, kneeling down. See these little blue and yellow flowers? They're from the crocus bulbs I planted last fall. They've been sleeping under the snow all winter. Now they're the first to push up through the earth and greet the spring. Aren't they lovely? Yes, Mama, they're nice, said Sister, but Brother and I were just down at the town square and guess what? 
But Mama didn't quite hear Sister because she had walked across the yard and was looking closely at a scratchy looking bush. It didn't look like much to Sister. This is a forsythia, said Mama. It doesn't look like much now, but come the first warm sunny day, it will burst with thousands of brilliant yellow flowers. Surely you remember it from last spring, my dear? Sister did, sort of, and it was pretty, but it didn't begin to compare with those sugar roses and violets on those dark chocolate Easter eggs, or those zillions of brightly colored jelly beans. That's when Papa and Brother came running around the house. Papa was just as excited as Brother and Sister. How about that? cried Papa. How about what? said Mama. Didn't Sister tell you? said Papa. There's going to be a big Easter egg hunt on the town square, and you should hear the prizes. More jelly beans than you could ever count. Papa? said Brother. All kinds of chocolate eggs, continued Papa. Papa, repeated Brother, tugging on Papa's pants leg. Er, yes, son? I forgot to tell you, said Brother. The Easter egg hunt is just for cubs. Just for cubs, said Papa. That's right, said Brother. Oh, said Papa. He was more than a little disappointed. Papa was crazy about jelly beans, especially the black ones. Mama sighed. <sighs> she looked at Papa and the cubs. She was a little disappointed too. The day of the Easter egg hunt dawned bright and early. Sister, brother, and dozens of their friends were on the town square waiting for Mayor Honeypot to give the signal for the hunt to begin. They had bags and baskets of every shape to gather the eggs. Brother and sister were especially well prepared. They each had a big basket, the better to carry the eggs they would find. When the mayor gave the signal, it was helter-skelter, gather, gather, here an egg, there an egg, everywhere an egg, egg. But brother and sister had a plan. Instead of hunting where the other cubs were, they quickly moved to the woods at the edge of the square. Here's a red one, and a pink one, and a green one, shouted sister as she popped the eggs into her basket. And here's an orange one, and a yellow one, and a lavender one, cried Bear as he popped them into his basket. A little while later, brother noticed that sister had become very quiet. He turned and saw her standing ever so still, looking into some bushes. And here, said sister in a soft, hushed voice that brother could hardly hear, are five tiny blue eggs in a nest deep in the bushes. Ever so carefully and quietly, brother moved into the bushes and looked over sister's shoulder at the real Easter eggs. And together they watched as one by one, each tiny blue egg cracked open and a tiny scraggly wet baby robin struggled to climb out. From time to time, the mother or father robin came to the nest with food, worms, and insects. They took turns putting the food in the wide open beaks of the baby birds. Brother and sister watched for a long time. They hardly moved. It was as if they were under a spell. It was the most wonderful and amazing thing they had ever seen. They missed most of the Easter egg hunt, but since every cub got a prize, they got some goodies for the eggs they had already gathered, a few chocolate eggs, but mostly jelly beans, which they shared with Papa. 
They gave him the black ones. Many of sister and brother's friends won the really big prizes. But that was okay. The sugar-trimmed chocolate eggs and the giant chocolate bunny would not only soon be gone, they would leave quite a few tummy aches behind. There they go to Easter Egg Hunt Headquarters. Sister and brother would never forget those baby birds, and the wonder of Easter and its message of new life would stay with them forever. Have you ever seen a nest where baby birds are hatching? Bear and I hope you will, but be very careful not to touch the nest. We want the mommy and daddy birds to come back. Well, Bear and I are off to go look for signs of new life ourselves right now. Come back and see us very soon. Bye for now.